Hey great fans, welcome back to my video. Today we're gonna be doing some unboxing. I got these items from Timu. They were part of what was supposed to be four things I got for free if I bought one thing for a lot of money. But the last thing that was the most expensive thing that I was supposed to get for free didn't end up showing up. So you know what Timu, after this video, I'm sending these items right back because I'm mad at you. We're gonna save this. This is the solar panel. Probably what you click the video for. Look at the solar panel. Okay. But these are the the, the free free items because I still had to pay for shipping. I don't, I don't even remember what I had. I'm pretty sure they're just chargers. These scissors suck. Maybe I just suck. This is the charger. And the reason why I got the chargers is because I think it is going to go pretty well with being able to test the solar panel. This charger actually doesn't seem that bad. Here's zoom in enhance. Actually, I see both of these chargers. Look at that. Do they look bad? Shake your head. No, the other way. Okay. <laughs> USB-C to C, USB-A to C. Uh, and then, you know, after we get USB-D, hopefully that, when that comes out, you know, we'll be charging hella fast. So, now we have the solar panel. Okay, so time to unbox the solar panel. Um... Okay, we have it. So time to open it. 100 watt solar charger by Mesnavida. I like that company name. Is that how you pronounce it? I, I don't think so. Well, can you try then? Mesnavida? Yeah, that sounds right. Anyway, 100 watt solar charger. Look outside. As you can see, it's kind of gray outside. I bought this for $70. I think it was like $78. And this is like surprisingly, it feels surprisingly good um, for 70 bucks. I don't know what the usual rate is for solar gear. But I don't know, this just feels like it would, it would work good, goodly. But because it's gray outside, I don't know how many watts we're gonna get, you feel? Okay, so, whoa. That's sick. Okay. So how do we charge it, you know? So that's that's the burning question that I have. I'm gonna guess it's in here. Zoom in. Let's, let's get all this rubbish out of the way. That's a lot of cables. Gonna be honest, I don't know what these cables do. I think I just figured it out, boys. I'm gonna look real dumb trying to figure this stuff out. So this hooks up to something. Let me read the tutorial really quick. English, one to six. Good thing I speak that language. So I might need like an actual solar battery for this to work. I don't have that, so. Great fans, we are back. I know I said before in the previous video that I didn't have a battery. But then I went and bought one off of Timu. Here's the link. Should be in, in the video. So here's the battery. Zoom in, enhance. This is the box, we're gonna open it. I know you guys like unboxing videos, which is why you clicked. Don't cut like that, don't cut towards yourself. But I'm a pro, I'm a pro. Here's your box. Here's it being unboxed. Oh my God. It's a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Look at that, look what it's for. Read, read all these things? Like out loud? No, just like, ask the viewers to read it. Read. Thank you. All right, so um, 12 volt carport recharging. Do not charge a car <laughs> with this. <laughs> uh, no. Solar power recharging, that's what we're using it for. Mobile charging, yeah. Camera charging, yeah. Electricity for small appliances, yeah. And night. Lighting, sure. I don't know why it has electricity for small appliances. And then carport recharging. I don't know what that actually means. I don't think it actually means to charge your car. Maybe like recharge your car battery or something, I don't know. Not, not your electric car. Heavens no. I don't know the specs on this battery, put the specs on there. I just recently learned the difference between watts, volts, and amps. So let me explain it to you. Prairie fans, in case you had no idea. 
volts times amps equals watts. All right, all right, all right, whatever. So here's how you charge this. I'm probably gonna use this as like um, a UPS, which means um, something power supply. Universal. Yeah, there you go, see? I knew it was universal. I just didn't know for sure. I don't know if that's right, but if it's like USB, then I'm sure it would be the same. Universal serial bus. Oh, we're learning so much today, Gray fans. Look at that. I think this is for charging it, so we don't necessarily need this. And you could, I guess, charge it from your car, which is interesting. I'm gonna try, we have to try that. <laughs> it's gonna explode. I don't trust the Timu 50 pound battery. It was, first of all, I guess it was around 50 pounds, but it was $90, just to be clear. Okay, still from Timu. We're not, we don't, we're not from the UK, we don't use pounds. <laughs> So that looks like a speaker. It's not though. It's a $90 battery. It's what we we crank up the Cyclops with. Get it? Like from Somatica? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's he a likes, niche joke. Ew, pounds. okay. Yeah, don't touch it with oily palms. I just got oil all over my palms. Yeah. That looks nice. Yeah, Hold on. Show it to the fans. Yeah, show it to the gray fan. Here's the manual in case you're curious. Now let's spin it around, do some aesthetic spins. Oh, you can carry it like that. It's heavy. It's heavy. Like it's it's a lot heavier than you think it would be for ninety dollars. <laughs> okay, from Timu. It's honestly the quality is not that bad. Let me read the specs on the bottom. Mm. Capacity. It has a two hundred and sixty watt hour capacity. Um, it can output three hundred watts. That's good, I think. Okay, so first, first things first, let's turn it on, see if it has any charge in it. Here, let's turn it on. Does that mean there's a charge? What is this? Is this light option? Yo, that's actually bright. See that? Yeah, I see it. Why the hell would you ever need that? <laughs> it's... Okay, interesting. I feel like that's way too heavy to like act as a flashlight. Making some some weird ass sounds. Hold on. The microphone will pick it up. I don't know how much I like the sounds that it's making. It's probably fine. What is it doing? This video wasn't meant for the battery. It's meant for the charger. Well, the solar panel. Ah, see? First thing on the agenda is to figure out how to plug this into that without exploding anything. So, it's gonna be interesting. This thing came with a bunch of doodads, a bunch, a bunch of cables, and the one input that I feel like we're supposed to be worrying about is this one right here, because this is the only thing on the input that looks like it would be here on the input for that. It looks like I can plug it in, yeah. That looks right. Okay, and then I guess we plug these into the actual solar panel. Um, like this. Is that the way? How do you know which, which direction is? I mean, I guess it's, it's, it's this tub on both ends. I'm gonna guess that that's how it works. Okay, let's hope it doesn't catch fire. <laughs> um, oh, is it doing something? Okay, yeah, I wanna plug it in now. So let's just plug it in at the end here, in the input. And then let's just take this and then just kind of put it at the edge and see. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask you to stay by the table and zoom in on the actual an actual charger and see if anything changes. Oh, well, look at that. I don't know why I'm like shocked. It's meant to do that. Look, we're inputting watts. Yo, look at me, ready? Science. 
We're leaving that in. Okay, we're outside. Okay. We're bringing the guard dog. The guard lab. I think that's what she is, I'm not sure. It's a lab, right? Okay. Yeah. We are outside. What time is it? Do a time check. I know it's at least one. So let's go into like the deep yards. Okay, she's gonna piss right in front of me. So one thing I didn't showcase in the first video was that since the sun is over there, you can actually angle it with these little doohickeys on the back. Here, zoom in on these. You can angle it to get optimal sun. See, look at that. And let's get rid of this on the back here. Okay, so with plug one, we are getting um, nothing. <laughs> is it plugged in? It is plugged in. Figure it out. No, it's saying that we, I'm pretty sure it's recognizing that we are getting an input, but it's not telling me how much it is anymore, even though it was at one point. So we're just gonna leave it out here and just see, see if it goes up. Here, come here. So it's, it's saying we're at, we're at this bar now, whatever the three bars, if it goes up to four, then we know it's working. So yeah, well, we're just gonna leave this out here and pray that it goes up. Yeah, so I guess we come back later and see, it was at three, should be at four when we come back, or maybe five, hopefully five. ChatGPT said it would take like four hours to charge fully. Okay, get, get a thumbnail for this video, get a thumbnail. I like that. That view is nice. Oh, actually, you know what? If we got, if we got, if we have the uh, the battery in the thumbnail too, that'd be extra cool. It's like that, right? Big news. So, when I went in front of it and I blocked the sun, like all of it, I don't want to do it again because it was really annoying. Just you just gotta trust me that it happened. The input on the battery read two watts after I covered the entirety of it. And then I moved to the left, it was going up like 30. And then when I got out of the way entirely, now for whatever reason, it's showing the watts now. So look, look in. I don't know if you can read that in the sun, but it says 76 watts, which is actually really good considering it's rated for 100. And that's what ChatGPT said, it might be down like 20%. And this is in 20% in, in optimal, like optimal, optimal sun. So let's see how long this takes to charge, because now it's actually working, which is good. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna leave it out here. So that was just a little update, a little update. Okay, great fans, we're back. Um, I don't have a cameraman without me right now, but we are due of the dog. It's getting late, clearly you can tell by the sun. So we're gonna go back and check on our solar. It doesn't, okay, so it's still in the sun which is good. And apparently the sun is that way, so I'm facing it the wrong way anyway. So let's see how many watts. Right now we're pulling in only five watts, which is kind of pathetic. So let's see if we can make that a little bit higher just by aiming it towards the sun. Brings it up to 5.6, so yeah, definitely not great. But as you can see, the battery went up by a bar and I can only assume but that means it went up like another extra 20%. So whatever that is, do the math, math on the screen. So yeah, if we had it out all day, it probably would have been a lot better. But right now, yeah, we're pulling in a lot more just because I'm facing it the other way too. We're pulling in seven watts. So yeah, I'm gonna bring the battery inside and run some tests on the battery. Okay, so we're here now with the power test of the battery because we gotta know how much power this thing could spit out. So right now, we're doing some intense gameplay. I just got a legendary ballerina cappuccino, by the way, and an epic should be choppy, so you guys are all poor compared to me. That's besides the point. Um, so it's plugged in right now at the end. And so we just gotta, I'm gonna go to 0.5 for this so you guys see more. You just gotta plug it in. It's hard to do this one hand, but whatever. Plug it in, turn it on, and then press the AC button. And we are in. It's currently providing 120 watts, and the computer can tell that it's charging. 
16%. Let's see. Time until fully charged is one minute. That's not a minute. One hour and 39 minutes. So I'll come back here to see if it's fully charged or not. Hopefully this battery can batter. Hopefully this battery continues to work. So it has indeed been a couple of hours. The battery is like halfway down and um, the computer is a hundred way up. So that's good. And I looked up how many watts the PS5 uses and we're about to test it on the PS5 because it says only 200 watts during active gaming. So let's see how that works. Okay, we got the PS5 hooked up into the battery. Time to enable AC. Turn the power on the PS5. It's booting. And the TV goes on, which it should. Hopefully. It's a uh, cycle. Oh, so it was cycling a little bit there. I wasn't fully confident in it. Uh oh. Oh? Well, I'll be damned. It can run a PS5. Holy crap, this PS5 is running off of a $90 Timu battery. Oh my god. I guess I guess I could play Spider-Man. I don't think this game updates. This is one of the only games that I platinumed, by the way. I love this freaking game so much. Dude, I can't believe that this is literally just running off of... And I, hold on, let me just make sure you guys don't think I'm lying. This is the PS5. I don't have, like, a second one. It's connected to this. You can follow it. It's literally just connected to the battery. Yo, and we're about to actually, it's taking a lot of power. That is quite a bit of power. Oh, yep, the battery fan is on now. Yo, it's actually running it. That's crazy. I can actually play PS5 games off of this. Okay, she is definitely not having a great time. I'm, I might, I, I am a little scared. I should really have a fire extinguisher in my room because this thing might, might catch fire. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sue them because they're in China and obviously that's that's the one issue that's bugging me is if I can sue them or not. I'm gonna let it relax, I'm gonna let the battery relax, but there is a light on the back of the battery and I'm gonna showcase that now. Okay, it is time for the light test. Um, boom. You can see the dog, you can see the outside. And flashing light test, I don't know what you need this for, maybe like a bat signal. All right, that's it for the light. That's it for the light demo. Hey, was you recording? Yeah.